Commissioner, it seems like we should be putting the brakes on. I can see the exposure to the state through your agency and others, the Attorney General, that we just let some product out there that some child can take 20 pieces of five milligrams each and you know, OD or exceeded concentration. To the counselor's point, you're saying it does, depends on the volume of lungs. It's like a cigarette. You might get 50 puffs. Someone else might get 20 puffs, but the concentration is there. So shouldn't we just say, listen, we, we don't have this down yet. Let's stop what we're doing. Just make it illegal until we get the language that my colleague, my representative Tigliano, the chairman and others, uh, other than just say, well, let it go out there and hopefully nothing happens. I mean, I know the, the, the um, Delta 8 and 9 are federal, but but while we can, don't we have a liability, a very large liability to the public to allow these sales to go on without much more serious regulation? I believe the products that are causing concern are, are outside our regulated market. But at the end of the day, allowing adult use cannabis is a broader policy decision. You know, we're the regulator, but we're not the policy maker in that. But I... I don't think the types of products that the attorney general or that we've been talking about are coming from um, our licensed retailers or dispensaries. So I still think that we're just saying we're turning a blind eye. I mean, we're saying it's within your purview or it's not within your purview, but yet it's still on the shelves. Shouldn't we try to stop that? Because yeah. language takes a long time. Yeah. I, I think I think what you're hearing is we we, yeah. we we get that you guys are limited. Tell us what resources, we, we want to see some action and tell us what resources you need. 